uh, yes welcome back friends here uh, we'll take the problem that we were discussing in the previous video lecture to the next level so here we'll include another question that is to determine the surface inclination of a plane which has which has actually inclination with both the planes now here the inclination with hp was already given to you so so we know that the line view of the plane whatever that angle uh, the angle is made by the line view that is the inclination of the surface now inclination of this plane with the vp so even though here inclination of uh, one smaller side was given to you as a uh, 60 degree but please try to understand that this is not the inclination of the surface so it is the inclination of this edge ab so for that matter the edge ad makes uh, some other inclination so and if there are uh, some other complex uh, shapes so it's uh, different edges make different inclinations that essentially is, is not the inclination of the surface so to get the surface inclination we need a line view in top view so we need a line view in top view so for that uh, what we need to do is if if we want a line view in top view we have a procedure so what that procedure is the procedure is first of all identify a true length in the other view if we want the line view in top view we should identify a true length in the front view now what is the property of a uh, true length the true length property is if something if some line in the front view can be classified as true length then its top view must be parallel to xy line you see that ab its uh, uh, top view is not parallel to x y line or rather none of the existing sides is parallel to x y line so that means we do not have any true length present in the front view so to get that true length we need to make a dummy line so how to get that dummy line a dummy line which is parallel to x y line in top view so for that what we do we start from certain point we we make any line on this surface but with one existing point one existing point is a we start with a we make a horizontal from here and uh, we draw the line so we make another line ae such that it is horizontal so let me extend it up to the line dc so that i am sure that it is indeed touching dc it is on dc the other point e of the line is on dc now if this point e this dummy point e is on line dc on the other hand or the side also it will also be on d dash c dash so i will to get that point what i will do i will get and switch on the ortho and get the vertical line like this and from here i get another point that is e dash now now you know that this point e dash is if we connect point a a dash switch off the ortho a dash with the e dash e dash is intersection of uh, this one here so this a dash e dash is the true length now this was determining the true length getting the true length now after this the procedure is now now i don't need this one vertical but uh, i'll remove it later so the procedure is this a dash e dash should become perpendicular to x y line if we want the line view in top view the front view true length should become perpendicular to x y line so what i how we do that let us see we'll copy the whole thing with some base point and now we need to make 
rotate whole thing so that a dash e dash becomes vertical for that what we do so we will measure how much is the angle subtended by this line dim and then in the angular mode we will determine what is the angle made by a a dash e dash with the vertical this angle is 63 so now I come out of dim command I will simply rotate this whole thing about this base point by an angle 63 so what I see the a dash e dash now becomes vertical ok so the when it becomes a vertical now I get the vertical vertically dropping points for d dash up to d I will get and uh, from a dash again up to a dash I can get the point and for uh, b I will we'll, get from b dash and b point is up to the bottom and then again c c for c I will get the point dropping from c dash I will switch off the snap then I will be able to reach c will finally reach C. So these are the lines on which we have on this particular line I have uh, new B on this particular line I'll have new C on this line I'll have new A and on this line I'll have new D. Similar way I have uh, other locus coming out from previous D so from D to D I'll make and uh, then from A I'll make up to A so A was up to this point so anyway it was uh, on the end of this and next is for C for C the line is here and for B and for B the horizontal locus is here so this is the new point B this is the new point A new point uh, D is here and new point C is here. So overall the line is I will switch off the ortho then I will be able to get the line starting from intersection here. You see all points they become collinear A B C D all become collinear so it is a line view. Now I will uh, you can see easily so all of them are collinear. I will remove all the clutter and uh, I can give the clear solution at the end. These things I will remove. This way we, I have a line view. And what is the now inclination with VP? So that is my dim command angular mode from here to here the inclination with the BP is 76 that I can say so phi is so in this case I can say the phi is the answer is phi and that is equal to 76 degree so with this we come to the end of this problem so this is called double auxiliary method also to determine the inclination of the line so thank you. I, with this you will be able to solve almost all types of problems related to the planes. So thank you very much.